Rick Costas here. Dr. John Foley is also here. And it's time for the Wizards of Weekend. And Rick, so I'll just turn things over to you and uh, let you take it away. Lots of stuff going on. So we won't waste any time. Now, today, at the day... At the day clum- the complex, we have a. I don't know. You've seen it. It's, it's called a complex like, or a compound. It's more of a complex. It's like the Thirty Rock building. You've been. You've seen it in downtown New London. Yeah, no, New London is spectacular it's a, building. It's a baronial compound. I'm just wondering though, do you guys consider it a compound or a complex? See, a complex is is, is more business. Compound is more defense. No, crazy <laughs> people barricading themselves uh-huh. in, which I think is more. It's a realistic compound. to you. <laughs> the, f- the feature section's more compound. I would, I would think we're all. But you all have complexes, yeah. so that's, I guess, both, right? <laughs> it is all of the above. But today we're going to start something new. There uh, at noon, Peter Whoppy and I are going to host uh, the first live lunch break concert. It's a great St- idea. Streaming live, kind of like NPR's. Uh, tiny desk concerts and we've got John Freeze in the heat that'll be in the building talk to him a little bit let them play some music while you eat lunch you can watch it it'll be archived what is this NPR that you speak of it's not I've never anything heard of that. you need to worry about. That's some kind, of a, that kind of, some kind of a mothballed radio network of some sorts socialism I uh, <laughs> I, they, they do not approve of bombing yet <laughs> Yeah, right. <laughs> in fact, they would welcome Yemen to bomb us, probably. Right. <laughs> so John Freeze in the Heat will be there at noon. So y'all should go to theday.com at yeah. noon and watch watch the first uh, of the, the inaugural episode of Live Lunch Break. I'm and very excited for, for you about this. I think this is a great that's thing. awesome. And John Freeze in the Heat, that's a great band. They got a new CD coming out, and they play Saturday night at the Eugene O'Neill Theater Center, uh, it's a CD release party for US 50. So it's a nice tie-in. Yeah. So how's this going to work, though? The, the band is just going to start playing mm-hmm. at, at noon? I'll, I'll introduce them, and we'll talk a little bit, and then they play. It's all it, The sound is excellent, obviously, with Whoppy running the video. Yep. It's excellent. Is, and, there a, um, is there a special room you guys set up at the we day? We did. We rebuilt a... We re, re, it's kind of like a set. It's, I like that. Uh, wow, that's, the day is really pushing it. You know, that's, yeah. uh, that's really yeah. great. Yeah, it's going to be fun. All right. So, now that, and then the Beach Boys, the first time Brian Wilson and Mike Love have been together in about 40 years. So, they're Saturday and Sunday at the Mohegan Sun Arena. <laughs> Wendy's going to that show. Wendy's? Yeah, she's uh-huh. going to that show. Do you know there's a song by the Beach Boys called Wendy? Is that right? No, I didn't know Wendy, that. Wendy. But she's bringing it. Unfortunately, I think they forgot the words to that, didn't they? Yeah. <laughs> That, How old are they now? Like eighty five. Yeah. They're or all the way up to seventy. Now listen, well, it'll it will be great. Yeah. Uh, yeah. And they're doing some fairly obscure at Beach Boy stuff on this tour. Uh, I can't believe Wendy's going. That speechifies me. <laughs> <laughs> but uh, anyway, they have a new single. Yeah. They're going to have an album come out, and it's called Th- uh, That's Why God Made the Radio. It's unbelievable. Oh, really? Okay. It's very nostalgic looking. The lyrics are kind of corny, but boy, when it hits that chorus, you just get goosebumps. It's just classic, classic. old-style Beach, Beach Boy Boys. stuff. So I, I'm, I'm going to be there, and uh, I can't wait. They have another song, I Can't Find My Car Keys, I think. Something like that, isn't that it? Or, I don't know that I've lost my car in the super, in the supermarket parking lot. Or. I met I met Brian Wilson at the Mohegan Sun. It's been about ten years ago, and boy, he God love him. It was kind of a, a deer in the yeah. headlights sort of yeah. moment, but but he still got it. They're and, iconic, and they were uh, always worth seeing. One of the I mean, greatest songwriters yeah, in history. Amazing. Now, my colleague and pal Christina Dorsey, Friday night, she's going to the same venue, the Mohegan Sun Arena, to see Florence and the Machine. You guys into that band at all? Mm-hmm. Kind of modern goth rock stuff, and it's really good. Mm-hmm. But Christy's Christy's covering it, not me. And Why she's, aren't you, just, you like that because she's over the moon, man. She loves oh, this she band. Does. So, yeah, mm-hmm. we kind of try to like. It's a good. It's a good working organization. If somebody, if I like, if if I know one of my colleagues really likes an artist or something, and I'll say, "Why don't you cover that?" Right. Even though it's. "Quote unquote my my territory," but it's only fair. So if Lawrence know? Welk is playing, she'll give that to you. Things like that. <laughs> Anything cool and is hip. that guy still alive? I don't know. I don't think he is actually. 
Man. It'd be like a whole host of musicians, though, that you'll take because no one else will recognize you. Yeah. come in every week. Do you guys like these people? I probably would, but I've never heard of them. It's just like... Uh... Speaking of that, Dr. John Foley, uh-uh. mark it down. June 21st, a long way away okay. mm. at the Kate in Old Saybrook. Sonny Landreth is going to be there. I can't. I'll, I will backflip from New London to Old Saybrook to see Sonny Landreth. <laughs> so if you're out there and you've never heard of Sonny Landreth, yep. do some due diligence. Google Sonny Landreth. He's the best slide guitarist in the world. Writes great songs. And that, so that's sort of what you're talking about. Yeah. You just you expect little Ricky to come up and say, "Oh, I listen to these arcade yeah. people." And that's so. But that's awesome. Though, that, that pushes people's you know comfort zones a little bit, and you hear something and say, "Hey, this is really cool."